One of the reasons why I love fragrances is because they boost my mood, they make me happier. They have this ability to completely change the way that I feel. And I found an article on Fragrantica where they were saying fragrances instead of pills. I was so inspired that I wanted to make my own version of it. I will have today fragrances that help me in different scenarios, either sedatives, anti-allergics, energizers, help with focus, sleeping, aid, appetite boosters. First up we have the energizer. We need some vitamin C, some ginger, maybe a coca-cola vibe. Whenever I try to film it gets very windy and the fragrance that has a coca-cola note and I like it a lot is an energizer in a bottle. It's from A Lab on Fire, Paris, LA. This smells as if I am going to an amusement park, to Europa Park here in Germany. I live in Switzerland, Europa Park is in Germany and I loved so much that day. So imagine you are in an amusement park and you're getting ready to go into the roller coaster and you stop by a shop and you buy some macarons and also a glass of coca-cola with fresh squeezed lime and you are having a blast. This has notes of lime, macaron and coca-cola and ginger. It's very special. It is long lasting for what it is. I get six hours out of it and it's an energizer in a bottle. Paris LA from A Lab on Fire. We have energy, but we are starting to feel a little sad. We need something anti-blues, antidepressant. And the fragrance that is anti-blues comes in a blue bottle, but because it's the opposite of it, it's EBK Deep and Desire Yacht. This is another gorgeous fragrance. It has notes of grapefruit peel, camellia, black grapes, chocolate, hazelnut. And I associate this with summer, maybe because the bottle is so sparkling blue like the ocean. And I imagine that I am on a yacht, on the deck. The sun is shining, I am listening to that song, Welcome to Saint-Tropez. And I am eating a black grape cake, sipping some champagne. This is anti-blues in a bottle, EBK Deep and Desire Yacht. We are continuing with our day and we need to focus. And the fragrance that helps me focus, actually I cannot fall asleep if I wear it later during the day, is from Maison Francis Courtesan Baccarat Rouge. This is the extra. It has notes of almond, saffron, jasmine, woody notes, ambergris. The aroma chemicals that they have used in it really help me focus. It makes me feel like a CEO, a little unapproachable. This is a fragrance that I used to spray once. Whenever I had an online meeting, a big presentation, I would spray on my wrist and I would instantly feel like a CEO. Maison Francis Courtesan Baccarat Rouge and I have the extra version because I cannot smell the Eau de Parfum version and the first time I sprayed it I ordered the sample kit from MFK and I sprayed it I was across the room and my boyfriend said that it smells like Versace's house <laughs> he doesn't know what Versace's house smell like but he thought it smelled like luxury but I cannot wear it for bed unfortunately because it's a focus in a bottle we went to the amusement park and we start to sneeze. We got an allergy and we need an anti-allergic pill. And the fragrance that smells like an anti-allergic is from Zoologist Harvest Mouse. This smells so comforting, balsamic, smooth. It's vanilla mainly, so it has vanilla and chamomile, a beer, a cord, and hay. It's very comforting, smooth, creamy, enveloping. I consider it a hug in a bottle, really 
cures any allergy. I wanted to have a fragrance from each house and I was eyeing tiger. I wanted to smell like a tiger but that one is mainly vetiver and I thought it's more masculine. Then I found mouse. In the beginning I didn't like the fact that it's called mouse. I wanted to smell like a tiger but now I really enjoy it. It's not scary, it's a very friendly mouse, not like other zoologist perfumes. An anti-allergic in a bottle, zoologist harvest mouse. We also start to have some pain from the roller coaster, maybe. Maybe we have a headache. The painkiller in a bottle is from Javoy. Remember me. This is one of my favorite perfumes of all times. It has milk, tea, frangipani, vanilla, cardamom. It smells like a hug in a bottle. It reminds me of when my mom was boiling milk and that foam was starting to form on top of the milk and the kitchen was smelling like boiling milk. And I said this smells like you are sipping a chai latte you hear the birds singing, you are next to a frangipani bush and you look over at the Taj Mahal. Painkiller in a bottle, remember me from Jovoy. Next we are starting to get hungry or we would like to get hungry and we can't. I cannot decide if this fragrance is making me hungry or the opposite. It's from Jose Le Gourmand. This is the most gourmand fragrance that I have in my collection. I also mentioned it in my video with fragrances that I love and hate at the same time. This is super, super realistic food. It has notes of cookie dough, butter, toast, salt, hazelnut, cocoa cream and hazelnut. It smells like I am taking croissants out of the oven. Super, super realistic, if I didn't say that. I know that I did. And then as it dries down, it smells like hazelnut cocoa wafers. We used to have them back in Romania. They were called joy. Fresh hazelnut cocoa cream wafers. An appetite booster, je sais parfum, le gourmand. Next we have an antibiotic. Something that really smells like medicine and is from Oliver Parfum. Ding ding. Chemical Love. This is so unique. It has notes of vanilla, baileys, wormwood, amber, ylang ylang. It smells like something medicinal in the most addictive way. I used to have a neighbor in my apartment block and she was a medical nurse and we used to go to her for any medical advice if we had an emergency. <laughs> this reminds me of her for some reason and I also could not swallow pills when I was little. I would rather get injections. This could have been the injectable version. It also has a cocaine accord. What? Yes, you heard that right, cocaine. This smells like someone that is working in the medical department and is very attractive. And in the beginning, if you spray it first, maybe you won't like it, but try to wear it several times. The dry down is super addictive, creamy, with baileys, vanilla and amber, smooth, gorgeous. Chemical Love from Oliver Parfum. Next, we have a sedative. Something that calms me down no matter what. And this from Fragrance de Bois, Santal Complet. This smells like spa. It has coconut, vanilla, citruses, black pepper. I imagine that I am at a spa and I'm wearing a white robe. My skin is so smooth and creamy and I'm wearing Santal Complet. It sits close to the skin, but I don't mind that. Not all fragrances are supposed to be a beast, right? 
So the sedative that calms me down, no matter what. Fragrance de Bois, Santal Complet. Next we have another appetite booster, but the other kind of appetite, if you know what I mean. <laughs> wink, wink. <laughs> and the fragrance that I consider that is the most appropriate and has that effect on men 90% of the times, I also recommend it to my friends, is from Parfums de Marley, Delina. Outside the fragrance community, when I introduced it, everyone was amazed. So I still think that it's a solid recommendation and perfect for a date night. It does the job. Delina has notes of lychee, rhubarb, rose, peony, vanilla, musk, nutmeg. It's a seductive fragrance. Appetite booster in a bottle. Delina from Parfums de Marley. And the second last medicine we have today is a sleeping pill, a sleeping aid. And the fragrance that puts me to sleep is from Amouage Lilac Love. This one has lilac, heliotrope, Cocoa, vanilla. I wear this one a lot. It's in my bedtime tray. And what it smells like, imagine that a fairy is taking you into the dreamland and she's serving you warm, hot cocoa next to a lilac bush. It's not something that I would describe as sensual. It's just clean, powdery, Cocoa and lilac, magical sleeping potion in a bottle. I'm watch Lilac Club. And the last fragrance in today's video is the Panacea, the universal cure. And the fragrance that I chose for that purpose is from Ex Nihilo Vesper Glitz. This is a newer fragrance in my collection. I was not sure if I should include it or not because it's expensive. I bought it at a big discount. If you find it at a discount, consider if you would like to get it or not. I don't think it's worth the full price. It's being compared to Libre from Yves Saint Laurent. Libre is different. It's stronger, it's sharper, it's not the same. What this reminds me of is another fragrance that I used to have is Versace Yellow Diamond. If you make the niche smooth, perfectly blended version of that. I used to have a boyfriend 10 years ago and he was head over heels after Versace Yellow Diamond. He said that it's the sexiest fragrance. So this fragrance would have the same effect, but it's not niche. It's not something that you have never smelled before. It's just something that is so well done, smooth, blended to perfection. What I don't like about it is not very strong or I don't smell it. Actually on clothes I could smell it the next day, but on me I can use it as a body splash. I can spray and go mad with it. Vesper Glitz is one that I wear anytime. I wear for working out, I wear for going to bed, I wear as my casual fragrance and it's perfect for any occasion. Vesper Glitz from Ex Nihilo. That was it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Before I go, I want to leave you with a quote from Napoleon. The cure for the body is a quiet mind. Let me know in the comments down below what's your fragrance that is like a pill, a medicine in a bottle. If you are curious to find out my top 10 fragrances for life and top 10 books that changed my life, I will link the files down below. We are what makes you happy and I can't wait to see you next time. Bye.